Alrighty guys, now in today's GTA 5 online video, I'll be showing you how to get the Juggernaut outfit. So if you guys are new, make sure you guys subscribe for more GTA 5 online glitches after there's a patch 1.50 on our road to 20,000 subscribers. So make sure you guys smash that sub button. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys hit that like button as well. Let's go ahead and get straight into this GTA 5 clothing glitch on how to get the Juggernaut outfit. Alright, so the first thing you guys want to do is just go ahead and decide what outfit you guys want to save because you guys can only save one outfit while doing this glitch so I'm just going to go ahead and save this outfit right here so the one you want to save just go ahead and clip it right now now once you have picked the outfit that you want to save just go ahead go to pause go to online go to swap character and you just want to go ahead and load this up now you guys want to have a freshly new second character because we're going to have to make it into a female character as soon as we load it into here. So let's just go over here to the second character and hit X to start editing character. Now if it is a male, it does not matter. You're just going to change it here in a minute. So let's go ahead and accept this alert if you get this. And like I said, if it's male, just go ahead and change it to female. So mine's already female, so we're just going to go ahead and save and continue. Now, as soon as you guys create your character, you guys are going to go through a casino cutscene. So I'll go ahead and meet back with you guys when we get through that cutscene. All right, now when you spawn in, you guys should spawn near the casino. So all you guys want to do from here is just go ahead, go to the pause, go to the map, and see if you have clothing stores on the map. You guys see I do right now. Now, if you do not have any clothing stores on the map, you just want to find a new session. And when you join a new session, you should have clothing stores on the map. So I'm going to go ahead and meet you guys at a clothing store. All right, now once you guys get to a clothing store, you guys want to make sure you do not have any earrings on at all. So you guys see I got some earrings on, so we're just going to go ahead and take those off. Let's go ahead, go to earrings, and put them on none. Now you guys are ready to do this glitch. So what you guys are going to do is go ahead and copy every outfit that I show you guys. So let's go ahead and get straight into the first outfit. Alright, so this is the first outfit, so we're going to show you guys how to make it. So first, we're going to go to the top section first. You guys want to make your way down to tuck t-shirts. And get the white rolled T. 5 out of 92. Once you have that, it's going to make your way back up to Biker Cuts. Get the Patch Darted Vest, 50 out of 78. Now, once you have this, let's go ahead and make your way to the Pants section. You want to go to Spotted, or Sports Pants event, and get the Spotted Muscle Pants, 1 out of 54. Alright, now that you have that, let's go ahead and make your way to the shoes section. Go to high heel boots and get the deluxe midnight combat boots. 24 out of 55. Alright, now just go ahead and make your way to the accessory section. Go to gloves and put on the light woodland tactical gloves. 4 out of 54. And once you have that on, just go ahead and make your way to the outfit section. And go ahead and save this as an outfit in your first slot. So we're going to go ahead get into the next outfit. Alright, so the second outfit is just this right here. So let's just go ahead go to the top section first. You guys want to make your way down to tactical jackets. Go down to the bottom, 79 out of 79, and get the khaki tactical blossom. Now, once you have this, let's go ahead and make your way down to gum running t-shirts. Get the gray woodland rolled tee. 13 out of 60. Now, once you have that, let's go ahead and save this under the last saved outfit. So, outfit section number two. Alright, now that you save that, what you want to do is just go ahead, get an interaction menu, go to style. Go ahead and put on the first outfit. And once you put on the first outfit, all you want to do is just go ahead, 
care of yourself. So you guys can force a game save. Alright, once you spawn back in, let's go ahead and get a pause, go to online, go to creator, and go ahead and launch it up. Alright, now once you have got to the creator screen, all you want to do is just go ahead, get down and create a race, and do a land race. Now once you spawn in, let's go ahead, go to the map, and you guys just want to go ahead and teleport all the way down towards the airport to make this a lot easier. So we're just going to go ahead, hit X to warp, and you guys should teleport at the airport. Alright, so just go ahead and copy everything I do, so just go ahead and name the title, whatever. In the description, whatever, doesn't matter at all. Go down to photo. And go ahead and take a random picture. Alright, so go ahead and put the maximum players on three. Put the race type to standard. Put the route type to point to point. And let's go ahead and put the default class on super. Now you're done with that, let's go ahead and go to placement. Place the trigger anywhere. Put the lobby camera, anything, doesn't matter checkpoints all you want to do is just go ahead make them down the whole airport strip now it's got to be a total of 0.75 miles you guys see we're at 0.2 right now all right so we're almost done here You can guys see this is really easy. All you're gonna do is just go ahead and follow the airport strip and you're done. So there we go. Now what you guys wanna do is just go ahead, back out of this, and just go ahead and test the race. Easy as that. So the reason why I told you to make it super to make this a lot faster. Now I could have picked a faster car than the adder, but it's better than a sports car at least. So we're just gonna go ahead and go through these checkpoints and complete the test. Alright, now that you ended it, let's go ahead, accept this. And once you accept it, go ahead and get a pause, go to online. And you guys want to choose character. As soon as you load into the character screen here, all you want to do is just go ahead and delete your second character. So we're going to show you that right now. So let's just go over here to our second character. Hit square to delete. You're going to type in delete. Alright, now once you get back to the character screen after deleting your second character, you guys want to make sure you hit circle to go to story mode. That's the only way this glitch works if you guys return to story mode. Do not go into GTA 5 Online or pick any character you guys see right here. Just return to Grand Theft Auto story mode. So we're going to do that right now. So I'm going to meet you guys when we get in story mode. Alright, now that you got in story mode, let's go ahead, go to pause, go to online, play GTA 5 online, and let's go ahead and make your way back into a public session. So I'll go ahead and meet you guys when I get into a public session. Alright, now once you spawn in, what you want to do is just go ahead, save the outfit that you have on. So we're just going to go ahead and save it in any other slot besides the first and second one. So we're just going to go ahead and save it in the last one. Alright, now that you saved it, you guys want to go ahead and make sure you guys have new outfit 0 and new outfit 1 right here, because those, those are the juggernaut components. So what we're going to do from here is just go ahead, make your way to the pants section. You guys want to go down to utility pants, go all the way down to the bottom until you guys see the black high pants right here, 38 out of 38. Now, once you have put those on, just go ahead, go to pause, go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, Rockstar created, go to versus, go down to Crooked Cop, and go ahead and start that up. 
So I'll go ahead and meet you guys when we get inside Crooked Cop. Once you go into Crooked Cop, make sure the clothing is on player owned. And you guys will need another person to start it. So we're going to go ahead and invite some people. And I'll meet back with you guys when we got some people in here. Alright, so you guys see we got some people in here. So we're just going to go ahead, confirm the settings, and start it up. Now when you get to this screen right here, what you guys want to do is just go ahead, go down to own outfit, and switch it twice to the right. And you guys see you have the juggernaut outfit just like that. So we're just going to go ahead, hit play. I'm going to meet you guys when we get inside of the mission. Alright, now that you're inside the mission, let's go ahead, go to interaction menu, go to style, go to accessories. Go ahead, put on an earpiece, and just go ahead, quit the mission through your phone. And I'm going to meet you guys when we spawn back in to free mode. Alright, now once you spawn back in, you should spawn near a ammunition store, so let's go ahead, go inside. And you want to save this as an outfit in the third slot. So we're just going to go ahead and name it Juggernaut. And you guys want to delete the other two outfits that we saved earlier in the video. And there you guys have it. You guys have a Juggernaut outfit in GTA 5 Online. So, hope you guys liked today's video. This has been your boy Frosty back at another GTA 5 Online Clothing Glitch to help you all out. And I'm out. Peace. Peace.